In this video, I want to go over Lerp, Move Towards, and Smooth Damp. Uh, those three are used for, you know, slowing things down or moving things smoothly. And that's very important in your game. Um, this is something that I see quite often when people are posting and asking about it. How, how do I get my Lerp to actually work? So that's what this video is going to be about. So let's briefly go over what each one is, and then we will go from there. Let's talk about what Lerp, Move Towards, and Smooth Damp are. And I'm going to draw these up here, and I'm going to put uh, some little charts on here. We can take a look at exactly what they look like. Um, Lerp would be useful for something like something coming in off screen. Um, move Towards would be something like a train. And then smooth damp would be something like a spaceship, right? So you'd have to uh, just kind of take off and then, then get going real quick. Um, so here for Lerp, it's just a straight line. It's a straight shot right down to the bottom. And it appears to get slower over time. So move toward, it's just a straight shot, constant speed. There is no change in speed. And then smooth damp is kind of like a curve. So we kind of go up and then down and then smooth just like a lerp does. So the general idea behind this is you're just going to go from point A to point B in a much, much smoother fashion than you would if you were to just set position. Because set position just goes right to the position. Now that we kind of get the idea of what lerp and move towards are, what we want to do is take a look at one of these. This is the kind of the standard setup that people usually have trouble with. And this is the, the most common mistake that people make. Um, so what people are wanting to do is you say you have an integer, right? You want to go from zero to 20. Well, most people think, well, I can just lerp it directly down, um, set it, and then I can get my number here. But that's not necessarily how it works here. Um, because what's happening is we have zero is our starting point and 20 is where we're going to and we constantly get this lerped value out but it's not able to come back and feed it to itself as a loop so to fix that what we have to do is we come down here and we're going to connect this up now what's changed here is that i have taken the lerped value out of the lerp created a variable and then fed it back to itself as a variable. So what happens is we lerp the value, it sets the value, and then it feeds it back to itself. Instead of trying to just sit there and jitter, it's not going to do anything. If I want to come down to one, I can take that and now we can see that my number is actually moving. Now another point for this for lerp is that we have to divide the time if we want to scale it. So if we want to slow it down, we're going to do the, the get delta time. So it's time delta time and then divided by. And if we want to slow it down drastically, we can increase that as high as we want. And we can say, well, we're going to go from one to two and see how it goes much, much slower than it did before. Now, if I change this to one again, it will increase the speed. Now, if I change it to 10, no, let's do 110. Here we go. Then we're off in nowhere land. So let's go back to one. And one of the things you'll notice with Lerp is it, it doesn't get all the way back to, to the number you're going to most of the time. You're usually off a small bit. And you can fix that usually with rounding after you're done. Uh, it's just a real simple thing to add in a round in there. Now let's go take a look at a couple of the others. Um, down here we have move, move Towards. Move Towards is the same type as Lerp. It's just not a linear slowing down type thing. It's one constant speed you get there at the same speed no matter what. So this has the exact same setup as everything else. If I were to connect this 15 back to the current, we're going to get that same problem we had before where it's not going to do anything. We always have to make this loop. You have to constantly make a loop for itself. That way we can get the number we want. We can go to five and I'm going way too fast, obviously. So let's take this down to a two. So I can take this back down to a one. 
and now we can see that it's actually moving towards and it's constant speed until it actually gets there. So you won't have any rounding issues with this one. It will, do, it will always get there. And again, we have smooth damp. Um, this is the same setup as we have up here, the exact same thing. And we're going to connect it and it does the exact same thing. So here, the only difference here is smooth time is multiplied, but multiplying it decreases the speed. So if we set this to 20 and then we set this to, I don't know, one, then it's the reverse that you're actually doing time instead of distance. Okay. So let's set that back to one. Get back there. All right, so we're back to one. Now up here, the lerp vectors, so you can do a vector two in the same way. Uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna connect this and what I have set it up to do is follow my mouse. And as you can see, it follows my mouse around and it's nice and slow. I'm currently dividing by five, so it's pretty slow. So let me change that to a two. And then you can see that it speeds up as it follows my mouse. So the, the same thing applies here as in the regular lerp, except for you don't have to feed it back to itself. The position is coming from the get position here. So you don't have to do anything other than lerp the value. All right, so let's give this one a try too. So they're all roughly the same. And this is kind of one of those really boring videos because it's because <laughs> it is the same thing, um, essentially. So here we are again, multiplying max distance delta is way too high. If I set that back to four, it will eventually get here uh, probably in a long time. So let's take it back to 20 um, and there we go. And now it's coming back on the screen. So there's that. And then smooth damp vectors is the exact same thing again. Um, we have that curve to where it's going to pick up speed and then slow down gradually. So we can see that it picks up the speed, slows down gradually, picks up the speed, slows down gradually. Um, that's all there is to this. It's really straightforward. The biggest thing is remembering this loop once you're going through just the regular lerp because whenever you're trying to to get a number to slowly count down or something like that then it's important that you have a variable set and then feed it back to itself that's the biggest thing so all right appreciate it